Drafting the right player can make or break an NFL team's future, but sometimes, even the most promising picks turn into the league's biggest letdowns. In today's Deep Dive, we uncover the worst draft bust for all 32 NFL teams, from unexpected injuries to unmet potentials. But before we get started, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Number 1. Arizona Cardinals – Andre Wadsworth he was drafted third overall by the Arizona Cardinals in 1998 and entered the NFL with high expectations following a stellar college career at Florida State. He was even compared to Hall of Famer Bruce Smith. However, his NFL journey was marred by injuries and contract disputes. Wadsworth's career was short-lived, spanning just three seasons with a mere eight sacks. Far from the impact expected from such a high draft pick, Wadsworth faltered in the desert heat, but Pickens couldn't even take flight with the Falcons. Number 2. Atlanta Falcons – Bruce Pickens The Atlanta Falcons selected Bruce Pickens, who had the third overall pick in 1991. Despite his athletic prowess, Pickens' skills and coverage never developed to meet the demands of the NFL. His stint with the Falcons lasted only 27 games, and he recorded two interceptions before being traded to the Green Bay Packers. While Pickens missed his mark, Bowler's throws in Baltimore were more interceptive than inspirational. Number 3. Baltimore Ravens – Kyle Bowler He was selected 19th overall by the Baltimore Ravens in 2003 amidst high hopes from the coaching staff. Bowler's tenure with the Ravens was marked by mediocrity, and he ultimately finished his career with more interceptions than touchdowns and a lackluster passer rating of 69.5, making him the Ravens' most regrettable draft pick. As Bowler's hopes in Baltimore dimmed, Mike Williams' Buffalo journey started with promise, only to stumble into the NFL limelight. Number 4. Buffalo Bills – Mike Williams Expected to be a dominant force, Williams' transition to the NFL was underwhelming. His performance was subpar at various positions on the offensive line. I said I wanted to finish my career in Buffalo, and, it's, and, it's some, and I think that's what I'm going to do. After four unremarkable seasons with the Bills and a hiatus from the league, Williams' career concluded with a brief stint in Washington. But our next player story is a story of promise tragically squandered. Number 5. Carolina Panthers – Ray Carruth as a wide receiver from Colorado, he was the 27th overall pick by the Carolina Panthers in 1997. His promising career was overshadowed by off-field issues, including his conviction for conspiracy to murder in a case involving his pregnant girlfriend. Carruth's football career ended abruptly as he was suspended indefinitely by the NFL and waived by the Panthers. Carruth's off-field nightmare in Carolina pales next to Enos's knee-knocking disappointment with the Bears. Number 6. Chicago Bears – Curtis Enos he was selected fifth overall by the Chicago Bears in 1998 after an impressive career at Penn State. However, his NFL career didn't mirror his college success. A knee injury and underwhelming performance marred Enos' tenure with the Bears. He managed over 1,200 yards from scrimmage in 1999, but injuries significantly hampered his speed and effectiveness. His career ended abruptly after only three seasons, making him one of the most notable draft disappointments in Bears history. Enos may have stumbled in Chicago, but Achilles Smith's fall in Cincinnati was a full-on faceplant. Number 7. Cincinnati Bengals – Achilles Smith Chosen third overall by the Cincinnati Bengals in 1999, he is often remembered as one of the biggest draft busts in NFL history. Well, when we first got the announcement, I'm not going to lie, I was a little disappointed uh, because of the history of the back eight. Despite showing potential at Oregon, Smith's performance in the NFL was lackluster. In 17 starts over four seasons, he won only three games and had a poor touchdown-to-interception ratio and a dismal passer rating. Achilles Bengals' blunder was bad, but Johnny Football's Browns bust was a whole other ball game. Number 8. Cleveland Browns – Johnny Manziel he was drafted 22nd overall by the Cleveland Browns in 2014 amid much fanfare and high expectations. Known for his electrifying college play, Manziel's NFL career was a stark contrast. His tenure with the Browns was plagued by poor performance and off-field issues. In two seasons, Manziel started only eight games, winning two, and his time in the league was cut short due to lackluster play and personal problems. Manziel's mess in Cleveland was tough to follow but Rod Hill's Dallas days were quietly confusing. Number 9. Dallas Cowboys – Rod Hill Selected 25th overall by the Dallas Cowboys in 1982, he was expected to bolster their secondary. 
However, Hill's career with the Cowboys was short and unimpressive. He played primarily as a nickel corner and punt returner, recording only two interceptions in his two seasons with the team. His selection is remembered as a puzzling reach, especially given the talent available later in the draft. Hill's short Dallas stint seemed solid compared to Gregory's ghost act with the Broncos. Number 10. Denver Broncos – Ted Gregory his draft selection is a classic example of insufficient pre-draft evaluation. Gregory's knee issues and his height, significantly shorter than listed, were significant concerns. He never played it down for the Broncos, as his knee gave out again in training camp, leading to a trade to the New Orleans Saints, where his NFL career was short-lived. Gregory vanished before playing it down for Denver, while Charles Rogers' Lions legacy was a story of what could have been. Number 11. Detroit Lions – Charles Rogers the Detroit Lions selected wide receiver Charles Rogers second overall in 2003, hoping he would be a game-changing talent. However, Rogers' career in Detroit was a massive disappointment. His time in the NFL was marred by injuries and off-field issues, resulting in just 36 receptions over three seasons. Rogers' Detroit downfall echoes in Mandridge's Green Bay gaffe, where the muscle met the myth. Number 12. Green Bay Packers – Tony Mandridge he was hyped as one of the best offensive line prospects ever when the Green Bay Packers drafted him second overall in 1989. His NFL career, however, was a far cry from expectations. Mandrich struggled with substance abuse and failed to replicate his college performance, which was enhanced by steroids. From Mandrich's muscle to Johnson's jumble, the Texans' tackle turned out more fizzle than sizzle. Number 13. Houston Texans – Travis Johnson the Houston Texans selected defensive lineman Travis Johnson 16th overall in 2005. Despite being highly ranked in his draft class, Johnson's impact in the NFL was minimal. He managed only two sacks in four seasons with Houston, failing to become the disruptive force the Texans anticipated. Johnson's minimal impact in Houston was a prelude to Jeff George's off-target tosses in Indianapolis. Number 14. Indianapolis Colts – Jeff George Drafted first overall by the Indianapolis Colts in 1990, he was expected to be a franchise quarterback. Despite his arm talent and local roots, George's tenure with the Colts was disappointing. He struggled with accuracy and leadership, leading to poor performance and a lack of team success. George's troubled tenure with the Colts paves way for Gabbert's jagged journey in Jacksonville. Number 15. Jacksonville Jaguars – Blaine Gabbert Taken 10th overall by the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2011, he epitomizes a draft misfire. The Jaguars had high hopes for Gabbert, but his performance was underwhelming, marked by inaccuracy and poor decision-making. I let this team, this organization down tonight, I did not play good whatsoever, um, and that's on me. I had two crucial turnovers there that led to points for... After three disappointing seasons, Gabbert's tenure in Jacksonville ended. Then we have a story of hopes unhooked. Number 16. Kansas City Chiefs – Todd Blackledge His NFL career was lackluster despite his college success, including a national championship with Penn State. He failed to replicate his collegiate performance, starting only 29 games with the Chiefs and the Pittsburgh Steelers over seven seasons. Blackledge's missed mark in Kansas City hails beside Las Vegas Raiders' infamous choice, Jamarcus Russell. Number 17. Las Vegas Raiders – Jamarcus Russell Selected first overall by the Raiders in 2007, is often cited as one of the biggest draft busts in NFL history. His promising collegiate career at LSU did not translate to the NFL. Poor work ethic, weight issues, and underwhelming performance marked Russell's tenure with the Raiders. He lasted only three seasons in the league, failing to meet the immense expectations. Russell's disappointing Raiders journey leads us to the Chargers, where Ryan Leaf's career crumbled under pressure. Number 18. Los Angeles Chargers – Ryan Leaf Drafted second overall by the Chargers in 1998, he is infamously known as one of the biggest draft busts. Poor performance, behavioral issues, and injuries plagued his NFL career. Leaf's time in the league was brief and tumultuous, lasting only four seasons, with the majority spent struggling on and off the field. From Leaf's turbulent time in Los Angeles, we turn to another LA letdown with Rams' Jason Smith. Number 19. Los Angeles Rams – Jason Smith The Rams selected offensive tackle Jason Smith with the second overall pick in 2009, expecting him to be a cornerstone of their offensive line. However, Smith's career was hampered by injuries and ineffective play. Uh, it's, it's very exciting to be here at the 2009, you know, this, this, this upper deck 
trading card deal because you got a lot of other great athletes here. He failed to secure a long-term starting role, and his time with the Rams was brief and disappointing. From Smith's Rams riddle to Kumaro's dolphin dive, the draft bust narrative takes a deep dive. Number 20, Miami Dolphins, Eric Kumaro. Drafted 16th overall by the Dolphins in 1988, he is remembered as a significant draft disappointment. Despite a successful college career at Ohio State, Kumaro failed to make an impact in the NFL. His three-year tenure with the Dolphins yielded only five sacks and no starts, falling short of expectations for a player selected in the first round. Leaving Kumaro's quiet Dolphin days, we find Minnesota's Troy Williamson, a receiver who couldn't quite catch up to his potential. Number 21, Minnesota Vikings, Troy Williamson. He was drafted seventh overall by the Minnesota Vikings in 2005 as a potential replacement for the legendary Randy Moss. However, Williamson's career was far from triumphant. He struggled with dropped passes and never established himself as a reliable receiver. Over three seasons with the Vikings, he caught only 47.3% of his targets and scored just three touchdowns. From Williamson's missed opportunities in Minnesota, we navigate to New England, where Kenneth Sims' career was more penalty than play. Number 22, New England Patriots, Kenneth Sims. As the first overall pick in 1982 by the New England Patriots, he had a college career at the University of Texas, leading to high expectations. However, his NFL career was marred by underperformance and off-field issues. Sims recorded only 17 sacks over eight seasons and was often criticized for his work ethic and practice habits. Sims' underwhelming Patriots play was a mere misstep compared to Sullivan's Saints stumble. Number 23, New Orleans Saints, Jonathan Sullivan. The Saints traded up to select Jonathan Sullivan sixth overall in 2003, but he failed to live up to the lofty expectations. Sullivan's three seasons with New Orleans were underwhelming, producing only 1.5 sacks and 78 tackles. The significant draft capital spent to acquire him and his minimal impact on the field makes Sullivan one of Saints history's most regrettable draft choices. Leaving Sullivan's shallow Saints impact, Cedric Jones couldn't rise to the Giants' expectations. Number 24, New York Giants, Cedric Jones. Drafted fifth overall in 1996, Cedric Jones was expected to be a dominant edge rusher for the Giants. However, his performance fell far short of expectations. Jones accumulated only 15 career sacks and never developed into the impact player the Giants envisioned. The draft class 1996 included several future Hall of Famers and Pro Bowlers selected after Jones, highlighting the missed opportunity for the Giants. From Jones's faded Giants career, we have Vernon Galston's talent vanished in the New York air. Number 25, New York Jets, Vernon Golston. Selected sixth overall by the Jets in 2008, he touted for his impressive college production and physical attributes. However, he failed to record a single sack in his three NFL seasons, a stark contrast to his collegiate success. Golston's ghostly Jets performance leads us to Philadelphia, where Mike Mamula's Eagles flight was more glide than soar. Number 26, Philadelphia Eagles, Mike Mamula. Drafted 7th overall by the Eagles in 1995, he is remembered for his impressive, combined performance, leading to his high draft selection. While he had a decent NFL career with 31 and a half sacks over five seasons, he did not live up to the expectations of a top 10 pick, especially considering the players Philadelphia could have chosen instead. Next, we visit Pittsburgh, where Huey Richardson's Steelers journey was over before it started. Number 27, Pittsburgh Steelers, Huey Richardson. Selected 15th overall in 1991, Huey Richardson's career with the Steelers was short and unproductive. He played only five games without notable stats and was traded after one season, making him one of the most surprising draft missteps for a franchise known for its drafting prowess. Richardson's brief Steelers story brings us to San Francisco, where Jim Druckenmiller's 49ers script had more interceptions than touchdowns. Number 28, San Francisco 49ers, Jim Druckenmiller. He was chosen 26 overall in 1997 as a potential successor to Steve Young. However, he played in only seven games over two seasons for the 49ers, completing 21 of 52 passes, with more interceptions than touchdowns before being traded. Leaving Druckenmiller's 49ers fumble, we meet Seattle's Dan McGuire, a Seahawks draft choice that never took flight. Number 29, Seattle Seahawks, Dan McGuire. 
drafted 16th overall in 1991, Dan McGuire, the brother of baseball star Mark McGuire, had a disappointing NFL career, starting only five games in four seasons. His tenure with the Seahawks is marked as a significant draft failure, particularly in the light of the team passing on future Hall of Famer Brett Favre. From McGuire's grounded Seahawks career, we sail to Tampa Bay, where Bo Jackson's Buccaneers saga is a story of what never was. Number 30. Tampa Bay Buccaneers – Bo Jackson As the first overall pick in 1986, he never played for the Buccaneers due to a dispute before the draft. He chose to play baseball instead, making this selection one of the most unique draft busts in NFL history, not for lack of talent, but for never playing a snap for the team that drafted him. Exiting Bo Jackson's Buccaneers mystery, we encounter Tennessee's Jake Walker, a Titan whose promise was sacked by injury. Number 31. Tennessee Titans – Jake Locker He was chosen 8th overall in 2011, but injuries and inconsistency hampered his NFL career. He retired after four seasons, having started only 23 games with modest success, making him a notable draft disappointment for the Titans. From Locker's unfinished Titan story, we move to Washington, where Heath Schuler's career was more fumble than fame. Number 32 – Washington Football Team – Heath Schuler Drafted third overall in 1994, Heath Schuler's NFL career was underwhelming, particularly given the expectations of his draft position. Low completion rates and poor touchdown-to-interception ratio marked his three-year tenure with Washington and one year with the Saints. In the end, what do you think? Are these busts the result of misjudgment by the teams, or are they just victims of circumstance? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep this conversation going. Remember to leave a like and subscribe.